it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. These past few days I've been really focusing on making our home somewhat of a, a healing house, a place where our family can be comforted during those times of difficulty, whether it's from being sick from a cold or the flu or from stress and anxiety and just when the heart and soul need a, a little bit more of comfort and nourishment. It's been a little challenging with, with my own self lately. I know I recently had a miscarriage almost the exact same time that Xavier Harrel, Harrelson, the boy that went missing about an hour away from where we live, then he's probably had probably been found officials are still confirming everything but it, it just it literally just breaks my heart and then my grandmother passed away and Juno our our black lab dog is not doing too well so it's been hard especially when you you feel like everything has cra come cr crashing down at all at once if you know what I mean it just everything just seems to be happening over and over and you can't if you feel like you can't have a breath of fresh air um if you know what i mean i know it feels that way sometimes so but last week i was finding myself very tired not motivated at all but then something happened and i noticed that i can't do this i have four children that are depending on me to care for them and a husband and I just, I figured, I, you know, I knew I had to just join the living eventually. So I got myself together and just really started focusing on our home because our home is where we can heal and be with our loved ones. We can connect and recharge and it really is a sanctuary. So today I'm going to show what I've been doing to make all this all this positivity happen and manifest. So I first started cleaning our home. That was my main focus and I just went through cleaned it really well not a huge deep clean uh, just a decent clean and honestly if our homes if they're if it's fairly clean and in order then those times when we are sick whether physic whether you know it's physically or emotionally then all those other problems tend to not be quite as magnified so but I'm really glad you're here with me today autumn is in its beautiful glory that nice crisp chill is in the air so to speak um, I've got some good music playing on and I've, I've also put on uh, some of that fall amb ambiance on YouTube that you can that you can do so but just looking forward to spending some time with you today
So after the house was clean, I decided to put away some bulk type of fall groceries that we buy every year at a nearby market, nestled in a little Amish community that we love. We stocked up on oatmeal, sugars, dried beans and peas, dried fruits and nuts, everything we need in order to provide nourishment for our bodies during these colder months ahead. And that's another thing that can be extremely healing, which is comfort food. Those hearty stews, warm oatmeal on those chilly mornings, all of this can definitely heal your heart and soul. And normally we would buy a lot of um, dried herbs and spices, but we already have a lot from last year. And they seem to be in really good condition, so we're just going to hang on to what we have. And next fall we'll probably do a restock on our dried spices. But one thing I did make this week was homemade marinara sauce in the slow cooker. And we used the tomatoes from our garden that we roasted in the oven and kept in the freezer. So I just simply cut the freezer bag off and placed the whole thing in the slow cooker. I didn't measure anything because I normally don't, but next time I'll... I'll measure so I can give you guys the recipe because it really, really is, is good. But after the tomatoes were thawed out in the slow cooker, I added all those classic Italian spices, dried onion, garlic, thyme, oregano, a little pinch of cumin, which makes the sauce really, really good, and some fresh rosemary at the end and cooked on high for about four hours. I cooked on high so the sauce wouldn't be too watery, so that extra... Um, that li extra liquid would evaporate eventually. But there's something about slow cooker food during these autumn months that really provide a real sense of warmth, nourishment, and comfort. So after I did the marinara sauce, I decided to put on a simmer pot and I used fresh rosemary, sage, cinnamon sticks, whole cloves, dried apple slices that I made a while back, and fresh orange slices and turned this all on a gentle simmer on the stove and the house just began to smell so nice and cozy and fragrant. And aromatherapy in the home can be wonderful and healing at times, both physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And the best thing about this is you can create your own combination of elements. So you could use fresh pine from a nearby tree or whole coffee beans when you need a boost maybe in the morning but not necessarily another cup of coffee so so many variety of things to put in here fresh ginger lime leaves nutmeg dried lavender the list can go on and on but now i've moved on to making a cup of tea just to help with the whole healing process from the past few weeks and I will do this for everyone in the household when they're not feeling well. But we did purchase a few of comforting Amish tea blends. I love the sleigh bell one. That's actually good, good for Christmas time. There's a falling leaves one. 
And I also had two varieties of, of tea from last year that actually is still good. It's a calming tea and a flu tea blend of some kind. But since I had my fresh rosemary out, I decided to steep it into hot water to make an herbal, herbal tea of some kind. The rosemary is wonderful for maintaining blood pressure, blood sugars. It's all about preserving remembrance and healing of the heart.